All right, this is kind of weird, but imagine you come home from work. You had a hard day at work, and you come home. You find everything in your house is gone, and all the locks are changed. You'd be like, ah. Well, even more startling, it wasn't a thief who removed everything you own, but a legitimate company. 7 Action News investigator Heather Catalo found out this is happening around the country. Everything was just completely gone. Returning home from vacation in April 2011 to find her things missing and home damaged, Nicole Corum called the police. Surprisingly, officers told her they visited her home just days earlier after calls came in from neighbors. Nicole says police then told her what the company on her doorstep told them. And he said, hey, I had an order. I work for Safeguard and deal with them. Safeguard Properties cleans out foreclosed homes for major banks. Baffled because she had a current lease and had paid on time, Nicole says she called the company hoping to correct the mix-up. She said, um, well, it's all out in the dump. She goes, we don't keep that. We don't put that in storage. And I was just, I think that's when it really settled in. Just to, to tell my seven-year-old little boy, all your toys are gone. I mean, it was... <laughs> Attorney Tony Stein represents three separate families who have all had their homes cleaned out by Safeguard Properties. He says by mistake. We've seen this happen in 2010, 2011, 2012. This behavior continues to repeat itself. And we really have to ask ourselves, why is this happening? Here in Michigan, in order to evict someone from a foreclosed property, you need a court order. And the eviction cannot take place until after a redemption period. That's usually six months from the date of the foreclosure sale. Instead of waiting, some contractors are making a judgment call on their own about whether a foreclosed property is occupied. And if they think it isn't, they just go on in and clean it out. Internal memos posted on Safeguard's own website show the company has repeatedly received complaints after contractors made the wrong call. Memos from 2003, 2005, 2007, and as recently as 2011 remind contractors to look for signs the property is occupied before entering. One memo from 2005 even states the company will have to make costly settlements because, quote, the simple fact that unauthorized entry into an occupied property makes safeguards position difficult to defend. The 7 Action News investigators found lawsuits filed not only here in Michigan, but across the country in Missouri, Ohio, Florida, Colorado, and Maryland. It's called stealing. It doesn't matter if you work for uh, a bank. It's still stealing. Southfield attorney Adam Taub won a settlement against Safeguard Properties for one of his clients in Redford after the client came home one day to find the locks changed. Not only were his belongings tossed onto the curb, his flat screen TV, washer, dryer, and garbage disposal were gone. Taub says the more homes Safeguard's contractors consider abandoned, the more money they make. It does happen. It happens quite a bit. And there's an incentive for... Uh, the people that are making money on the ground to see everything as being an abandoned house. We did contact Safeguard Properties. They declined our request for an on-camera interview. A spokeswoman told us instances of error are rare compared to the amount of work the company performs. She says they take careful steps to verify the accuracy of property information before taking any actions and that contractors follow hundreds of policies and procedures to assure accuracy, quality, and timeliness. I'm Heather Catalo, 7 Action News.